just all take a collective breath together and take in the beauty, the power, and the statement of this piece of art. Uh, we're going to move things out uh, around a little bit. At this time, I'd like to welcome uh, to the podium Cheryl Grant. She's been a part of this amazing journey uh, for Oakland. She's the vice chair of the Oakland African American Chamber of Commerce Board of Directors, CEO and founder of Cheryl Grant International. Please welcome her for a special introduction. Hello and welcome. It is such a pleasure to be with you today. I am honored to introduce to you an icon of our generation. I met this amazing woman in my mission to reach 50 million black women and women of color, to uplift them, empower them, and educate them through my FIT program. I reached out to Chris Sullivan, who is the general manager of the Marriott, that not only supported me, but he also took it an extra step and introduced me to Audrey Decker. Audrey is a visionary. She is a mother. She is a wife and a woman who is on a mission to have a global impact on mankind, along with her husband, T-Bolt, and their beautiful three daughters. Street Art of Mankind is a 501c3 nonprofit organization that strongly believes in the power of art to trigger social change. SAM was built around the fight against child labor and trafficking, and it remains its primary focus because they believe that together we can create a child-friendly world. I want to thank you, Audrey Decker. I want to thank you for your vision. I want to thank you for the blessing of bringing this amazing piece of art. This art represents for the city of Oakland hope. It represents light. It is an opportunity for every little brown and black skinned girl to look up and see something larger than life that represents them. Victor, I thank you too. And without further ado, please, please put your hands together and welcome Audrey Decker to the stage. So obviously it's a huge, immense honor to be here with you today to inaugurate the Zero Hunger Mural made by the incredible artist Victor Ash and again, a huge And I would say that uh, this is also a special moment for us because this is the first time for a long, long time we had an inauguration with our partners. So the World Food Program USA, the United Nations World Food Program, and Keller Company with Melanie Hall. Thank you for being here today. So the fight that brings us together today is a fight against hunger. 690 million people in the world are facing hunger every day. This is 60% of them are women, and one third of the food that we eat every day is wasted. So, I mean, I'm, I'm going to stop here on this because we're going to have people who are way more skilled than me that's going to speak about it later. But this is definitely something we need to fix by 2030, which is a sustainable development goal number two. So we need really all to work together to take action and to inspire people to make a difference on that, on that work. You know, this incredible event, this incredible organization, 
was made possible by, by also incredible po po people, Katie Adams and, and, and Cheryl, and, and also Sherry Grant, sorry, uh, are amazing, amazing people, and with their company, so with the Auckland African American Chamber of Commerce, with CDA Consulting Group and Sherry Grant, they made this event today possible. So, thank you. So without further ado, let me introduce you to the giant artist who made this giant girl possible, Victor Ash. Well, I am not so giant. I am uh, actually uh, not a very tall man, but uh, I like to do tall things. <laughs> uh, well, it is very um, much a, a great pleasure for me to put my skills at the service of a good cause. And uh, I have been doing this kind of work for many, many years. I'm very experienced in it. And um, when Audrey gives me a project, uh, it's like I always look at the picture and think about the surroundings, what, I can, what can match better to the area. And I saw this, uh, this building and I saw the sun in the back, the sunset, and I heard about doing something with light, something that makes actually people happy, something that makes people, um, I mean, a good message, and very much, uh, I mean, when you, when you see pictures of, uh, or advertisement against hunger and, and stuff like that in the world, it's very much sad pictures. So for me, it was important to do something very positive. That's why I made this little girl, I mean, this tall girl, with, uh, with a smile and happiness around her. At this time, I'd like to bring um, Supervisor Nate Miley to give us just a quick Greeting, Supervisor Nate Miley, please. Well, good morning. It's a real pleasure to be here representing the county. I just want to say this mural is fantastic. It's awe-inspiring. You know, food is just really significant. Since August of last year, the county has spent nearly $64 million in food distribution contracts to 22 vendors and 525 partners distributing food throughout Alameda County. The need for food has increased exponentially during this pandemic. Thank you so much. And at this time, I'd like to um, welcome Molly Fenn, member of the Board of Directors of World Food Program USA and Chief Compliance Officers for eBay Incorporated. I'm so honored to be here as an art lover, appreciator, and member of the World Food Program USA Board. Art can reach people where media can't. Art is an experience. It seeps in. It touches us. It has a conversation without words. It changes our thinking, our perspective, and opens our mind. No topic is more important right now than hunger. At the World Food Program, the United Nations World Food Program, the 2020 Nobel Peace Prize laureate, they're launching their biggest operations in their 60-year history. They have fed over 100 and 14 million people in 2020. Okay, move in right along. At this time, I have the pleasure to bring to you um, this wonderful um, chef, Chef Tyler Florence, World Food Programs USA partner, and celebrity chef. So let's bring him forward. Good morning. How's everybody doing today? You guys doing all right? Um, Mayor Schaff, thank you so much for your inspiration. You're really uh, inspiring, wonderful words. Uh, I am thrilled to be with you here today. Uh, good morning, Oak Town. Uh, I, um, my name is Tyler Florence. I'm a chef here in the San Francisco Bay Area. Uh, I've been a board of directors member with the San Francisco Marin Food Bank uh, for over a decade, and hunger in the Bay Area has been one of my major focuses since we moved here back in 2007. Uh, before that, I lived in New York City, where I was a member of the New York City Food Bank. And as a chef and as a, a member of the community here, it is important that we all think about each other on a daily basis. It's not just us as a community writing recipes, you know, and, and thinking about wine pairings. And it's really more thinking about yourself as a citizen that contributes uh, to the art and it contributes to the society and contributes to the overall well-being of uh, an area as diverse and as rich and as wonderful as the Bay Area is. So at this time, we'd like to bring Milani Hall from uh, Kala Kala. Thank you so much. Hi, my name is Melanie Hall and I am 
uh, the uh, brand director for Kashi Company. I'm also a co-chair for the Kellogg African American Resource Group. And I just want to take some time to just say how grateful the entire company is for everybody who has contributed to this beautiful piece of art. Um, it is breathtaking and we're very, very grateful for everybody who has contributed. Um, back in February, Kellogg Leadership, our, our CEO, our president, they worked with our Kellogg African American Resource Group to launch a campaign called Black History Every Month. And the focus of that is to spend a year really thinking about food justice in black communities and thinking about the people in those communities that are doing the work and overcoming uh, problems with hunger and being heroes and making history every single day. Uh, and that is why we invited our partners at Street Arts for Mankind and the United Nations World Food Program to bring their zero hunger murals to six different cities across the United States to bring more focus and more awareness um, about the need for food justice in black communities here in the United States. And thank you. And an end to hunger worldwide. Thank you so much. Last but not least, I have the honor to introduce Christopher Sullivan, General Manager, Oakland Marriott Hotel, Convention Center. He's been so gracious in supporting our efforts. Thank you so much. Kathy, thank you very much. Thanks, everyone, for being here. On behalf of Marriott International, we were so excited to be part of this program, and uh, also Gaw Capital, the actual owners of the hotel. When Audrey reached out to me six months ago, we quickly worked with the city, so thank you, uh, thank you to the mayor's office for that. Um, Kathy and Cheryl, thanks for all that you've done. This, this, this young lady here, she, she took over. She tells you what to do. So I had a whole speech prepared, but I cannot follow the chef's speech like that, nor, nor would I want to, but thank you so much. Uh, we're really excited to be part of uh, the United Nations World Food Program. We see Kellogg's involved in that. This is not about Oakland, California. This is not about California. This is about the world. And I think all of us would agree, what a great opportunity for us all to participate. So I'd also like to recognize the art community. Oakland has been known for the art community for, for, for so long, right? But our local artists, right? So give it up to that. Oh, and Chef, thank you so much. Wonderful education. So I have the pleasure to introduce to you all Dwayne Wiggins of Tony, 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 three-time Grammy-nominated and three-time Grammy Award winner, making Oakland look good, fantastic Negrito. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you so much.